Oops. Turns out you can buy these off of eBay. What you are looking at right now is an actual motor of a Tesla Model S. That's right. A lot of people that have gas cars are a bit intrigued with electric cars and like how they work. And I've had four to five Teslas. Guess how many oil changes I've had? Zero. Guess how much, how many times I switch out the transmission? Zero. The gas cars have all kinds of maintenance and things you have to do. With an electric car, you don't have to do that because it's basically a computer, the battery pack, and then this motor right here. This is it. This is what gives you that ludicrous speed of people freaking out and being terrified of riding an electric car. I feel so dangerous right now. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! We've cut open a Tesla battery before. We bought this guy off of eBay. <laughs> we cut open the Tesla tires and uh, Lincoln had a crazy idea. Let's cut open or take apart a Tesla motor. It looks really big and bulky with a lot of screws and that that's kind of scary. This thing weighs 550 pounds. When I bought it off of eBay, they're like, do you have a freight pickup place? And I'm like, oh no. So we called our friend Cougar at Lux Auto Spa and he said, yeah, go ahead and ship it to my place and you can take it apart there. So it's supposed to be functional and work right now. And then there's some kind of plug right here. So maybe there's some sort of liquids inside of there. I really don't know. Look at all these screws that have nice green lines on them. It's like they're asking us, they're begging us to take it apart. Let us know in the comments right now. Do you think we're going to actually be able to take this thing Apart. How many Tesla motors have you taken apart in your lifetime? Zero, and there's not a lot of stuff on the internet about these. So, <laughs> from what little, from the little research we did, or what, what we could find online, this is what we need to take it apart. So we'll see. Yeah. All right. Well. This tube right here. Uh -oh. We got blue stuff. <laughs> what the heck? Look at this. We are spilling blue liquid out of the motor right there. What that do you think that is? Do you know? Kind of lubricant. That, that thing's not slowing down. It hasn't, um, it hasn't changed. So should we catch that in like a bucket or something? What's inside of a Tesla motor? The first thing that we found is there's some blue coolant. Blade. Blade. Just kidding, I'm not gonna lick it. Don't lick the blue stuff. It smells kind of like tuna fish. With the way that it's leaning right now, I'm guessing this entire section is full of the coolant. More blue Kool-Aid. Oh, what is that? There's a bunch of the coolant that came out of it, so it must be some sort of coolant reservoir. If you're doing like ludicrous mode or something, and you're going super fast, you gotta keep these motors cool, not just the batteries. And so, guessing that's what that is, it creates a little bit of separation. Or sometimes when we're not even in the car, and the car is just parked outside, and it's like 105 degrees outside, it is so loud just it is. pulling it down. Yeah, that might be the coolant running through, yeah. like it's running the coolant through it. Hey, hey Hunter. What's up? Ooh. Things are getting real here. <laughs> Whoa, I'm like a NASCAR guy, pit crew. Change those tires. Oh, yep, more blue stuff. Wow, that was pretty cool. I almost fumbled it, but I got it. What is yeah. that? That's a giant bearing. Oh, this is right here. Does the whole thing spin? Oh, yeah. There you go. Your Tesla is driving. Should we be concerned about the high voltage sign? No. Is there still energy? Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. We're about to find out. We're gonna take off these top. Yes. That's like the Matrix, that movie. Tesla Model S motor. Warranty void if seal is broken. Oops. Uh oh. Oh, it does come off. Watch oh, yourself. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. 
That's the high voltage area. That's the warranty right Oh, there. that's unbelievable right there. Wow. That is a full on computer. This is inside of the motor. Giant computer in here that talks to the motor, that gets everything turning. A lot of people have been saying lately that a lot of the electric car companies are like three to five years behind where Tesla currently is. And it makes sense. This is a 2012 Tesla Model S. We've got cars coming out in 2020 from a lot of the big time manufacturers. I would be surprised if their tech is as advanced as what the Tesla has in their old school motor. Okay, this is something really, really interesting. We've got the PCB board right there. It says high side, low side, whatever that is. And then you see these. They're almost like little spark plug looking things. See how shiny they are? But when you touch it, it's sticky. Oh, what is that? <laughs> what is that stuff? What is that? I don't know if it's toxic or not. We found the brains. There's this weird sticky gooey stuff right there. Tons of PCB boards. This is probably one of the most advanced electronic motors that you're going to find. And that brings us to today's sponsor. This is the Jimu robot by UB Tech. If you want to get to this point someday, you need to learn STEM and you need to learn science and the different technologies. Someday, you'll have the STEM knowledge and skills to be able to build something amazing like this. This is the MeBot 2.0 kit. You can buy it exclusively at Apple, whether you're in the Apple store or Apple online. Just like the Tesla motor that we took apart, there's gears inside of this, there's six different motors inside of it. Not only do you get to play with it, but you can build and you can code and you get to learn with it all through the free Jimu app. You're not limited by what the robot looks like on the package. You can actually take this apart, reconfigure the motors, and build different creations just as you want to do it. It's really cool. You can control the robot from the app. There are lots of different series of the Jimu robot. Mythical creatures, dragons, unicorns. It doesn't matter if you're 60 years old or eight years old. Anybody over the age of eight can get any of the Jimu robots. The sky's the limit. Thanks again to UB Tech for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in getting the Jimu robot MeBot 2.0 kit, check the link in the description. Let's go take apart the rest of this Tesla motor. Back to the motor. We are going to get to the actual motor part. And the first step is going to be, this is the entire inverter, I guess is what they call it with all the PCB boards. And I think if we take off some of these screws right here, we might be able to pull it out. It might look super cool. Let's do it. This is typically what Mr. Jerry Rig everything would do where he takes things apart properly. And now I can kind of see why he enjoys that. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, got it. That is a flex capacitor right there. Wow. It's just a giant gap in there. Is it, it's like a triangle. Doesn't it look like yeah. something Tony Stark would put on his chest? Yeah. Which they do say Elon Musk is like Tony Stark. Okay, the arc reactor. We are going in. There's about 30 screws here. It's going to take me probably six or seven minutes. And for you, it's going to take like six seconds. There's a screw somewhere in this that we're missing. So this is the part where you just kind of try to use some force and pull off this part of it. I mean, we already voided the warranty, right? Okay. That's how we do it, right there. This is a giant section of this transistor. We can pull out of that. That's so weird. I said, oh, that's a lot of stuff. See what I did there, Cougar? I just, I just bashed that part off. Is that the way you would have gone about it? Uh, I mean, none if we put it back together, but it yeah, works for what I it is. <laughs> not only did I void the warranty, I don't think we can ever put this thing back together. Okay. And it's all my fault. I'm sorry. I know there's a lot of Tesla fans that are like, what are you doing? We could have used that motor. I know we could have, but you wouldn't have been able to see inside of it. That's the only way we could take it apart, right? The real brains of this thing, the motor, just like the Jimu robot that we had earlier. here has some, some of the most squishiest material ever. I don't know what kind of paste this is. Probably shouldn't be touching it. All right, we are really starting to lose this liquid. Red and blue liquid. We know this is cooling. I don't know what this one is, but it's coming out of the like, copper motor part of it. This is intense. We are losing liquid. Where's our blue pan? Stay right there. Who knew that Teslas have oil inside of them? Like, we, you don't have to get an oil change, but that's oil because the way that it's mixing with the coolant. It's something that goes inside of it. Now we gotta crack this motor open. This is it. This is the moment. I don't even think we really pointed out this side over here. There's just three little cables. That's what this thing was connecting to. And there's some sort of weird tape in there. I don't know. Okay, back to the big moment. Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh, oh, oh! That is just so cool! What? Okay, 
this is the coolest thing ever. These are the wow. gears. This is where the torque comes from that makes a Tesla go zero to 60 in 2.3 seconds or whatever. These giant gears right here, this must have been where the oil was, that just twist around. Oh my gosh, and then look in here. There's like bearings inside of here that roll around. This one has little balls inside of it. And this one has these rollers. It smells weird. And then giant bearings inside of there. This is a huge That's bearing. so big. Wow. How did these things not get torn apart after years and years of use? And look how smooth that is though. That's where your efficiency comes from of cruising down the street. One of the coolest projects and one of my favorite projects that we've ever done, what's inside of a Tesla motor. And uh, I don't know what else we can do inside of a Tesla. Yeah. This is it. We did it. Are you grounded right now? Mm. Lincoln's grounded from Fortnite. Oh! What? Good joke. What's the last time I played that? I don't know. <laughs> don't lick the blue stuff. 